So, um, I've been thinking about doing this for a pretty long time now, but I've always just been super nervous to do it. But I'm super, super excited because I finally have some free time from school and I just have a lot of things that I want to share my opinions on. So I just wanted to start a YouTube channel to talk a lot about makeup, skincare, cosmetics, fitness, health, mental health, a whole bunch of things that run the gamut. Um, especially a lot of political and social issues that are impacting our time. And I'm very, very excited to kind of start a platform to do that. And I want to say thank you for watching this video. Um, let's like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I'm mostly doing this for my own pleasure, but I would really appreciate some support. So if you guys want to share this with your friends and your family, I would really appreciate that. Um, so just a few notes. Um, first I'll tell you a little bit about myself. So I am 22 years old right now. I just graduated from school in Massachusetts from a graduate school program. And yeah, I'm just living life, um, trying to be the most healthy person that I can both inside and on the outside. Um, I like to spend my time doing um, lots of personal activities, eating healthy, working out. Um, and then I do have a really artistic and creative side to me that I also like to express and I do that through makeup and skincare cosmetics. Um, I've worked in the cosmetics industry for about two years now officially. Um, one through a big retailer and I've also freelanced for specific makeup brands on the side and I don't want to say I'm an expert or anything like that, but I will definitely say that my product knowledge is pretty advanced and my skincare knowledge in particular is where my passion lies and that's the most recent brand that I've worked for. It's a skincare brand. So I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you guys and hope that this will help out some people that are looking for some products or need recommendations. So for my first video ever, I decided to start with something positive and go through all of the skincare empties that I have. And these are all products that I have tested out for about the last six months to a year. I've held on to them for the hopes of making this video and I just want to share what worked for me. Um, so this specific video is going to include all products that are great for me. Like I give them all A pluses, all top shelf. These are products that I've rebought, I will rebuy um, and I've used consistently in my skincare routine. Um, and the way that I decided to break down the video was to go through a typical skincare routine. So starting with cleansing, all of the steps that lead to moisturizer and aftercare, maybe some um, additional extra steps here and there, including lip care, some body care at the end. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Um, so the first step of most people's skincare routine is to cleanse the face. Now, before I jump into the typical skin cleansers, I wanted to talk about two products that you can use to pre-cleanse your skin or to take off your makeup. So this is great for any guys or girls that wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, or even not if they just want to cleanse their face when they're wearing any makeup. Um, so the first one that I wanted to talk about is this. This is the Lancome Miel and Mousse Cleanser. Now, I love this cleanser for a few different reasons. Um, great consistency. When you pump it out, it has a honey-like consistency. I mean, there is honey in the formula. Um, it foams up pretty quickly um, and does a pretty good job at taking all off all of your makeup without harshly uh, stripping your skin. And I'm going to say that a lot about a lot of the cleansers that I have today. Um, the honey in it can be a little bit soothing for the skin, so it's not too harsh um, and just does a great job of removing your makeup. Would we'll check this out if you haven't. Good one from Lancome. Um, the second kind of makeup remover, and this is the one that I do have a, um, a bigger preference for, and this is the one that I recommended to most of my clients um, when I was doing direct sales, and it's this one. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. Uh, this is a three-in-one three cleansing balm, and I love this one for a few different reasons. Um, so first of all, the consistency is absolutely amazing. Um, unfortunately, I did actually use it up. Like, I'm not lying about that. So I can't <laughs> necessarily show you what it looks like, but as soon as you put it onto your skin, it melts. Um, like a butter. I kind of think of it as like a coconut butter, solid at room temperature, kind of emulsifies and liquefies once you put it onto the skin. Now, what I love about this one is that it's going to take off all of your makeup, all of your eyeshadow, uh, your foundation, your complexion, anything that's really hard to get off, like waterproof mascara or eyeliners. It's going to do a really, really good job at removing that from the skin, not stripping the skin. You do want to take this off with water. I don't like to keep this on when I move on to my actual skin cleanser because sometimes I find that the skin cleanser won't foam up as well. But still, all around amazing product. You can get this at Sephora, um, Ulta, anywhere that It Cosmetics is sold. All right. 
So now we're gonna move on to the actual skin cleansers and I'm gonna share with you guys the first product that I ever bought when I started working in cosmetics and that is this one. This is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. So as the name suggests, this is a cleanser that's gonna help to remove any impurities from the skin, specifically acne. So the reason that I bought this way back when is because I had acne prone skin and I still have acne prone skin. Um, what I love about this um, is a few different things. So this contains a 1.5% blend of salicylic acid. Um, salicylic acid is a DHA, so it's very effective at deeply cleansing your pores and getting rid of a lot of the grime that's in there. Um, this product also contains green tea, which is great for removing blemishes from the skin. Also great for calming the skin and I feel that people who are acne prone do tend to have skin that's inflamed and that's one of the things that we want to try to calm down so great for that and then my favorite thing that I love about it and this is a claim that I obviously can't prove but I do think that it works um, is that it, the medication that's inside here is actually released even after you take the cleanser off your skin so it kind of I don't want to say lingers around because it doesn't leave a cast or anything like that but the medicine on kind of like an atomic level is still working even after you cleanse it your skin so I love this one um, but this one does actually foam quite a bit, and I know it does contain sulfates um, and phthalates and some ingredients that people don't necessarily want. Um, so another cleanser that I would recommend if you want something that's very similar to that, but it doesn't contain the acne-fighting medication or the sulfates, phthalates, lots of different ingredients that people don't want, it's this one. It is the Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. This is probably my favorite of the ones that I'm going to be talking about. This is great for all skin types. It's not too drying on dry skin, um, but it takes away enough dirt if you have oily skin. It's gonna leave your skin moisturized. It's gonna leave it very nice and plump, totally clean. Um, this is part of the Clean at Sephora line. So super, super um, good for your skin, natural ingredients, and none of the harsh ingredients that you might not want in some of the other skincare. Um, as you can see, I love this one so much that I literally tore it open so that I could try it out. So you can see it over there. Um, I wanted to get every single ounce of this product out of the bottle, and I did that. I've repurchased this. I can't find the fuller size. Amazing, amazing cleanser. Um, now I want to talk, talk about two cleansers that are a little bit more affordable, because you know those ones will run you like 30, around $30, um, 30 or under, depending on the size that you get. Um, so this is one that you can also find in Sephora, so it is still a prestige brand. It is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Facial Cleanser. Um, I do like this one. It contains what First Aid Beauty calls their antioxidant booster. Don't exactly know what that proprietary blend is going to do for your skin, but the antioxidants are very beneficial for your skin. Now I will say I never really used this to cleanse off makeup. I just used it to cleanse off skin, but it does say that it will remove your makeup as well. But although overall, this is a great affordable um, cleanser for somebody who doesn't want to spend too, too much money and it will last you a long time because you do get a lot in it. The only thing that I don't really like about it is that it has a silvery kind of finish to it. Um, and it kind of reminds me of soap when it lathers up, which I don't love. I don't think that it's soap free. Um, but it does say that it's safe for sensitive skin. I personally don't have sensitive skin, but try it out. I know a lot of people love the First Day Beauty line, so a lot of people will like this one as well. Um, and then the final product that I'm going to be talking about for cleansers is one that you can actually find at the drugstore. Recommended by dermatologists, like classic tried and true brand. It's this one, the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. Um, the one that I have is specifically made for normal to oily skin. So it's going to take out excess oil, but it's not going to dry out the skin too much. If you have dry skin, they do make different variations of this. So you can try the different varieties depending on what your needs are and what your skin type is. But I mean, this really is recommended by dermatologists, especially to anyone on their first visit to a real skin doctor. It's just a classic brand. It won't break you out. It's not harsh on your skin and it gets rid of everything. All right, so now that we've talked about all the cleansers, I wanted to move on to the next step. And for me, the, my next step after cleansing is one of two things. So either I'm going to tone my skin in order to get rid of any excess makeup or excess cleanser and to restore my skin's pH balance, or I'm going to exfoliate my skin. So I have two toners and two exfoliators that I want to go over today. We'll start with the toner. So the first toner is this one. This is the Caudalie Vino, Pu Vino Pure uh, Purifying Toner. Um, Amazing line, Caudalie. Everything that, not necessarily everything, but a lot of their, um, actually I do think it's everything. 
Oh, anyway, a lot of their um, products have ingredients that are derived from grapes. Um, this specific one has a blend of peppermint, um, lots of different herbs that are going to be calming for your skin, and very anti-inflammatory. Um, I found that whenever I was using this product and I had a breakout, if I put this on a cotton pad and I let the cotton pad sit on top of my skin, the breakout would definitely be soothed the next day um, or later on throughout the day. Um, very, very good for getting rid of any of the um, excess oil on the skin as well. And I did find that when I was using it, it, my skin was getting a little bit less oily throughout the day. So I love that. So I love this toner. And then the second toner that I wanted to talk about is from one of my absolute favorite skincare brands, just because they make pretty good skincare at an affordable price. Um, it's from The Ordinary. So it's called The Ordinary. Um, this is their glycolic toner. So this is an exfoliating toner. Um, this is a great alternative to the Pixi toner that a lot of people use, the Glow Tonic. Um, this is a great alternative to any of the higher end um, exfoliating toners. I know that a lot of people use this in place of the Glossier um, exfoliant, the solution, or they use it in, um, in, instead of the Biologique Recharge um, Lotion P50. Um, I don't think that this is nearly as strong as Lotion P50, but I do think it'll get the job done. You do have to be a little bit patient with it. If you're looking for it to exfoliate your skin, it will do that nearly immediately. Um, I will sometimes bring this down to my beard area where I shave and I will notice the sting because that the acids are permeating deeply into all the open wounds in my skin from shaving. I mean, that's normal with any acid. Um, I did find that when I was using this, any Com like comedones, comedones, I don't know how, comedo, comedones. Anyway, the little bumps that we get on our skin, that isn't necessarily acne because they don't have a white head and it's not necessarily the follicle that's clogged with dirt or oil, but it's just more that my skin has kind of sacked up and it hasn't been exfoliated enough, the dead skin isn't being removed enough. So this is great, um, effective, can be gentle. If you have sensitive skin, I would recommend that you be careful with it just because it can it can definitely be a lot. Like I, like I said, it, w it would turn my beard area red. So great toner, it's like eight bucks. Like, are you kidding? That's great. Um, so I have two more products that are exfoliating. Um, the first one is also by First Aid Beauty, the same brand that made that cleanser that I talked about. And it is, these are the Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. Um, these are gonna help exfoliate, tone, and brighten the skin. Now, I would always use these before makeup application on a client because it will help to ensure that most of the dead skin has been removed while also making sure that the skin is cleansed because it is a pad that you would go in with um, afterward. You can see I don't have anything in there, sadly, because I use them all. Um, I will say that this is not the best product for someone who is who needs a lot of exfoliation. This is great for somebody who wants to exfoliate daily. Um, honestly, maybe by daily, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but I feel like those are these are that sensitive that you can do that. I think that the main acid that's located um, in this is lactic acid, if I remember correctly from the product training that I did a long time. So it is gonna exfoliate your skin, but my friends and I would always joke that this is like exfoliating for our teenagers, like little people, preteens who haven't really started <laughs> their excessive skincare. Honestly, if you're looking to exfoliate with an exfoliating pad, get the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. Those are the bomb. They work so, so well. They cleared up all my skin issues. I just happened to not have any with me because you have to you throw away the packet after you use it and didn't save any for me to show you guys. Anyway, still a good option. Um, well, speaking of Dr. Dennis Gross, we're gonna talk about one exfoliating product from them. The peel pads I've ever all talked about very briefly. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, but this is their new, a new product from them actually launched earlier this year, and it is their new liquid peel. And I love, love, love this product. Um, also helped to change my skin the same way that the peel pads did. I kind of think of these as like the peel pads on acid. <laughs> because these are kind of like one step up, even more exfoliation, even more toning to the skin, even more brightening. This is for someone who is absolutely dedicated to their skincare routine and takes their skincare routine very seriously. You need to add this to your routine if, if that is you. I, I think the bottles last in like six months, I'm not even kidding. You're only supposed to use this for once a week, once to twice a week if you can handle it. I would not recommend using this every day. You're not supposed to use this every day. Um, but it, just like the, um, the peel pads, it contains your step one and then your step two to help neutralize the acids that are in, in step one. So step one contains a blend of acids and kojic acid. Um, and then step two includes your neutralizers and I believe green tea extract and colloidal oatmeal to help um, keep the skin very matte. All right. 
Sorry, I'm like throw I'm like throwing everything on the ground here, minute and then I'm going to go recycle it. Please recycle your cosmetics products. Don't just throw them in the trash. Um, a lot of stores will actually give you credit if you go to recycle them. So definitely do that. All right. So anyway, that aside. So after I go through my exfoliating or toning routine, we've cleansed the skin. Now we need to start applying our topical products. So the first ones that you want to do are your serums, and the reason for that is because your serums are actually smaller molecules, and those are going to permeate a little bit. More more deeply into the skin and provide some sort of function and then after that your moisturizer on top is a bit of a larger molecule that's going to help lock everything in um, so I'm going to start off by talking about some brightening serums because my brightening serums are the one thing that I will never take out of my skincare routine even if I am feeling like I don't want to do, I don't want to wash my skin, I don't want to go through a million steps, you know, you can add a lot of serums. The brightening serum is the one that I will never ever stop using because it contains anti-aging ingredients and it's just going to help to build up your skin layer as well. Um, so the first one that I want to talk about, this is no brainer, I, a million people love this one. It is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Brightening Serum. This is their vitamin C serum. I love the consistency of it. This is absolutely amazing for oily skin because it's not a cream. It's a super, super lightweight serum. Um, going to give your skin a beautiful glow the second that you put it on. You're gonna notice results almost instantly. Obviously not the same day. You need to give this a little bit of time to work, but this is seriously amazing for your skin. My only qualm with it is that it is super, super expensive. Um, I think it's $80 for this thing. Um, I did rebuy it recently and yes, it was a dent for my wallet, but absolutely amazing. A lot of people said that the SkinCeuticals Vitamin C Serum, I think they're Vitamin C and Ferulic, that this is a dupe for that. I'll be honest, I have not tried the SkinCeuticals one, um, although I do love that their brand and everything that they stand for. They were like the OG skincare brand, um, cult with a cult following, I just haven't tried it. But anyway, this Drunk Elephant one, amazing. Um, so in addition to the Drunk Elephant one, I've also used this one from Caudalie. This is the same brand that makes the toner, and I've actually gone through two of these, which is crazy because you get so much product in this, but this is their Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. So this typically, as I'm sure you know, most people think that vitamin C is derived from fruits um, such as lemons or oranges. That's not necessarily always the case. Um, in fact, I've always heard that vitamin C is not necessarily that high in oranges, but anyway, let's not get into that right now. But what Caudalie advertises and alleges is that the, the ingredient from here is extracted from a grape and it's 62 times more powerful than, a, than, tripical, than traditional vitamin C as brightening the skin. I love this product for a few different reasons. So I used to have acne scars all along my temples on both sides of my face, and this without a doubt um, help to lighten them. You need the smallest amount, this bottle will last you forever. Same thing like the Drunk Elephant one though, super, super expensive. So if you wanna if you wanna spend it, go get it. This comes in a set at Sephora that they come out with every so often um, that includes the, a moisturizer and I believe an eye cream. I think that was the most recent one. But again, amazing product. Um, and it gives your face a like, really gorgeous glow. So I love to apply this in the morning if I just wanna give my skin some uh, radiance. All right, um, so one final vitamin C product to talk about, and this is another new launch from Dr. Dennis Gross that came out this year, and that is their clinical grade um, IPL Intense Pigment Lifting Serum. Um, I actually have three of these. They look mini, and I mean, they are mini. This is not the full size product, but this lasted me about two weeks each of use in morning and night. I have three of these, so I was able to use this for a pretty long time, um, and I know that the full size lasts even longer which is awesome. So this is for me, this is kind of like drunk elephant on steroids as well. Drunk elephant on acids, if you will. Um, so 10% L-ascorbic acid, a, a form of vitamin C to help brighten the skin. I'm not going to talk about that ingredient anymore. Kojic acid um, and then lactic acid as well. So this is going to help to very lightly exfoliate the skin. So this is very, very good with someone for someone with deep um, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, any dark spots in the skin, severe sun damage. This is great for you. This is not a product I would necessarily recommend as a vitamin C alternative for people for day to day skin, but great if you have intense scarring on your skin that you want to get rid of. Um, and I used a lot of it. All right. Um, so I have three more serums to talk about. These are, like I said, these are separate from the vitamin C serums. These are not brightening. These are not lightening. Um, these are just for overall skin health, um, for anti-aging, for skin plumpness, and a few different, um, a few different 
function. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen. I remember when this first came out, everyone at the store that I was working was so excited. The client was excited because it really was advertised as being liquid, or excuse me, as being collagen in a bottle. And to think that they were able to do that with algoronic acid, um, which is a type of acid that is extracted from algae, because al um, alginous is derived from plants from algae, marine algae. Um, so they were kind of able to turn that into a, literally a collagen for your skin. Um, this bottle costs $115, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Definitely over $100, but absolutely amazing. It's gonna plump up your skin, get rid of any fine lines over time. Very, very safe for the eye area. So what I would love to do is to put this on before I started using my eye cream in order to increase the efficacy of the eye cream. Just gonna plump up the area, um, increase hydration, and really you will see results in this. It's not only with plumping, but with lines. You do want to be consistent with this. I would recommend pairing this with their other um, collagen line. Um, I think that they have a whole line dedicated to it now, including a night version of this. I believe it's a collagen night cream. My only, only, only issue with this is the dropper. Um, as you can see, I mean, I have very, very little left. I can't even, I can't even take it out because this dropper is horrible. Um, it will not take out the product um, correctly and no matter how much air that you try to suction in in order to extract product, it will not come out. Um, so I had to, you know, you have to dip in a few times, but hey, I mean, the, the product works. That's all that matters. The actual, the formula works. That's all that matters. Um, all right, another one. This is the Lancome Genifique. Uh, Genifique. If you know what Lancome is, if you've been in the skincare industry, if you've been in the makeup industry, you know what Lancome is, obviously, and you know what Genifique is. This is just like a classic serum. It really does work. It's been around forever. The formula is great. Um, so this is, they advertise it as a youth activating concentrate. Um, different blend of antioxidants to help give you much more mature looking skin and to make sure that your skin's luminescence is still maintained. I remember going to a training on this product and they were telling us that you can actually mix it in with your foundation in order to give it more of a radiant finish. Love that. Um, does work. I had to try it out once. It definitely does. Um, it's going to help to maintain your skin's hydration. So another good reason to um, mix it in with your foundation. Um, I remember when I first got this, I mean, this is a full size bottle, which I thought was very um, generous of Lancome to provide us at the time. My mom wanted it, of course. She knew what Genifique was immediately. Um, I didn't give it to her because I really don't, I don't want people to think of Lancome as like your grandmother's makeup brand. They have products that do work and they have skincare that works. Does all of it work? Obviously not, like let's, don't make assumptions. Um, but great product. Um, okay, and the final one I'm very upset about because I can't find the full size version of this, but I started off with a um, mini sample size of it, and it is the Biosance Phyto Retinol and Squalene Serum. You guys, this product is so, so good. Honestly, anything from this line is amazing. Um, so Biosance is a clean line that is sold at Sephora and a few other retailers. Everything that they make kind of has, I, I believe everything is, um, has squalene integrated into the formula. And squalene is an ingredient that, so it used to be extracted from, I believe shark, I don't know if it was shark fins, I know it was from sharks, but Biosance patented a way to extract it from plants. So all of their products are plant derived, super, super safe for your skin, super natural. Um, so this really unique squalene, anyway, this um, really unique squalene that they were able to derive is infused into all of their products, which is going to help to keep your skin more hydrated and plump. Um, and then they mix it into their phytoretinol serum. So what that means is the re retinol is ex also extracted from a plant. I don't know if it's Bacuchiol that's in here, but I do know that it's a retinol alternative. So it's something that you get from a plant and it's going to help to force your skin to accelerate more quickly. But the really nice part about this product and this is pretty groundbreaking. I know a lot of other um, brands have jumped onto their this um, retinol alternative um, kind of like trend that we're seeing that or that we had seen. I know Ula has one, Ola Henriksen, lots of other brands. Um, so anyway, the appeal of this kind of retinol alternative is that it is not giving your skin the same um, redness, harshness, or intensity that you get from a traditional retinol because traditional retinol that you get either over the counter or uh, prescribed from your dermatologist can be incredibly harsh on your skin. Products like these aren't gonna dry out your skin. They're not gonna be overly harsh. So I love, love, love this. I'm, I'm sad I can't show you guys the full size bottle that I went through. But anyway, um, all right. So I'm so excited. 
So the next um, kind of uh, category that we're gonna move into is eye cream. And I only have three eye creams because I do think that it takes a while to go through an eye cream, especially if you have one that you use in the morning and one that you use at night, which is the case for, I believe, two of, the, yeah, two of these products. Um, so the first one is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Hyaluronic Marine Cushion Eye Gel. Super lightweight. I love to throw this on in the morning before heading out to work, um, going into the office. It's gonna help to plump up the skin, draw in moisture from the air with all the hyaluronic acid that's infused here. And because it's a gel, it's super lightweight, so it's gonna settle into your skin very, very quickly. I like to use this in the morning. I don't like to use it at night because it's not as heavy and doesn't have as um, heavy of a blend of ingredients that are gonna be anti-aging. Um, so the one that I was using at night, kind of at the same time, um, these overlap pretty well, is this one. This is the Shiseido. Oh, there we go. The Benefiance um, Wrinkle Resist 24 Eyes. You guys, it is very hard for me to find a product that actually does anything about the fine lines in my under my eyes. Luckily, I don't have like much crow's feet here starting to form. I really don't have many wrinkles. I'm not saying that at all, but I have normal human fine lines under my eyes. Um, but I find that when I would put this on at night, it really would flood the area with hydration the next day. Um, this is a very, very, very thick cream. Um, so like when you put this on, your under eye area is gonna be super radiant. So I did not like to put this on in the morning at all. This is just a cream that I use at night, but because it's so intense and rich, it was amazing. Um, and then the final one, and this is the one that I was using most recently, is this Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. Absolutely amazing, um, super lightweight. So I would actually use this both morning and night because it's a gel cream. So it's kind of a hy hybrid of the two prior products that I was talking about. Um, super inexpensive. You can get this at any drugstore or mass retailer like Target. I think Ulta sells it if I'm not mistaken. Um, brightening for the skin, depuffing, absolutely. If you put this in the fridge, it is going to depuff your skin, which I love. All right, and that's it. Oh, and again, super affordable, great. Um, so now let's move on to your moisturizers for your skin. So you can think of your eye cream as the um, moisturizer for the eye area. Let's move on to the one for your skin. Um, I actually have a lot here because I have, I use moisturizer every day. Again, it's one of those products that no matter what, I'll cleanse my skin and put a moisturizer on even if I don't feel like doing the entire skincare, my entire skincare routine. You know, for those days that you get late home, you get home late at night and you don't feel like doing it. So let's go in order of the ones of the ones that I tried them out. And I'm gonna be totally honest, let me start by giving a disclaimer. All of the moisturizers that I used here are gonna be pretty lightweight. They're probably gonna be gels, gel creams, um, or just lightweight formulas because I don't typically have dry skin. Um, and because of the fact that I get oily and you know, men do tend to have more oily skin than women, um, I, I use products that were super lightweight and that were going to not necessarily leave my face looking greasy. So just a quick um, disclaimer. This is the Nutrient Charged Water Gel by Murad. Amazing, um, super great for acne prone skin. I love the smell of this. Um, some people said that it smells like pomegranate and I definitely smell that. But then other people said that it smells like Hennessy. I don't know how I feel about that. Like Hennessy, the alcoholic drink, I don't. No, not my thing, not my forte. Um, super lightweight. Another one that I tried out from Dr. Dennis Gross is the Hyaluronic um, Oil-Free Marine Cushion. Super, super plumping for your skin. It has algae in it, um, Japanese algae, so it's super calming. I love the smell of this. Oh, it smells like, I think it's very fresh, kind of like cucumbers mixed in with skincare. Um, Oil-free gel cream, great for your skin, can retain a lot of moisture, great for anyone who's acne prone. Um, Pharmacy Honey Drop. This is a good one. Um, it does contain alcohol in it, which I think is a little weird because it's drying. I'm sure actually a lot of the other products that I talked about too, but this is something that I noticed specifically because sometimes it would turn my skin a little bit more red than normal. But the packaging, amazing. It looks like a honeycomb um, and it does have their Echinia Green Envy blend in it. Um, another one, Original Skin by Origins. Amazing, went through all of this. I was obsessed with this one for a long time has willow herb, willow herb in it, which um, is one of their ingredients that they claim is very calming and anti-inflammatory for the skin. Um, what's unique about this is that it dries down matte. Love that, so it's not gonna leave your skin greasy. <laughs> um, oh my God, I had the same thing happen as the um, Biosans. This is my Protini that I got from um, Drunk Elephant. This is the mini. I had a full size of this too. I don't know where it went. I think I went through the whole thing. Um, you can see that I went through this. 
Um, but this has a blend of proteins that literally protein, I think it is protein, is it proteins and Afrikaans? I believe, anyway. Um, polypeptide cream, so it's gonna help to repair your skin barrier, love that. All right, so we are almost done. Um, so now my next category is just like random products that don't fit into any other category. Um, so I have five products here. So I'm gonna start by talking about two sprays that I really like. Um, Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. Honestly, I probably don't have to talk about this one too much. Everyone knows why it's such a good product. This works amazing um, as a final step in your skincare routine or after a mask because of the blend of oils that are in here that are going to very deeply hydrate the skin um, and provide a pretty radiant finish. Um, anyway, so I was talking about the Murad Multivitamin Facial Oil. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's vitamins A through F that are infused into this formula. So it has your vitamin C for brightening, your vitamin A for exfoliation. I'm putting this on right before bed, just a few drops, you don't need much. It's very emollient, very slippery, which I love. I love putting on a facial oil before going to bed because that is really going to help make sure that everything is locked in and that my skin is able to repair itself when I'm asleep. Um, and then the very final thing that I wanted to talk about is this Dior Lip Scrub. Yep, this is the Dior Addict Lip Sugar Scrub. It looks like this, very, very pretty pink packaging. <laughs> um, so it is a balm actually, and there's sugar infused into the formula. So there is formula, in, excuse me, there is sugar inside the formula over here. So they can go in, exfoliate your lips, um, but because it's also in a balm, it's gonna help to nourish and moisturize. So that basically covers all of the empty skincare products that I've gone through. And like I said, it takes a while to get through skincare. So if you go through a whole thing and you still like it, that's a pretty good thing. It means that the product has worked. Um, now I have just a few products. <laughs> that are a body care. This is These are targeted, marketed as men's products. I'm sure anyone can use them. We don't discriminate on this channel. Um, so it's two deodorants, my two favorite um, kinds of deodorants. They're by Dove and Degree. Um, these are owned by the same company. They're both Unilever brands. Um, I love them because they're spray on, they don't leave a cast and they prevent you from sweating and they smell good. Um, I will never try a roll on deodorant, probably ever again. Um, at least for daily use, um, unless it can really compete with what these can do. Absolutely amazing antiperspirant and um, deodorant. Okay, so the final products that I quickly wanted to talk about are these body washes that are from the brand Harry's. Now Harry's, I believe, started off online and then they were exclusive to Target at one point. I believe that they're sold at Walmart um, at the moment. At least their shaving stuff is. I know that because I saw it. I don't know if their body wash stuff is. But these are their body washes. This is the first one that I got. This is in Shiza, which is more of their herbal eucalyptus scent. And then I moved over to the stone one, which is more of their cleaner very fresh scent. Um, what I love about these is that they actually leave a really, really nice natural smell on the body. It kind of like feels those radiating from your skin, not just masking um, your natural scent. Um, it's not just like covering it up. It actually kind of is changing the scent of your skin and making it really fresh. Um, they're only about six bucks, I believe, and they are free of either parabens or sulfates. I forget which one is um, typically common in body wash and which one that they advertise that they don't have. But I love that. So mildly clean formula, you know, your body can take a little bit more of those harsher ingredients than your face can. Um, and I really like these ones. I've used the Cremo ones. I tried to switch over to something else after I went through my first bottle, which is this one, but I've switched back um, to, the, to the stone one. Um, I'm probably just gonna stick with it for a while. But yeah, that concludes everything for all my skincare empties for about the last year, probably more like the last six months is the majority of the products, you know, not the ones like the Harry's body washes that I went through a little bit more frequently, but I did just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you for sitting through this and listening with me, chatting with me, see what, seeing what my inputs, uh, my input, my insight um, on skincare was. And if you guys have any video ideas, please let me know um, down below in the comments. And thank you again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.